Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today I want to glue in my colored glue book again because I'm obsessed and I tend to do this where I get really excited about a project and then that's all I want to work on. So, but first I want to show you guys, um, a couple of you had questions about the Dollar Tree books that I was talking about. Um, they are these. They have um, this kind of like party font on them or whatever. And inside are these pictures of the animals that I've been cutting out. Obviously, I've cut out most of them. And then in the middle are stickers, which I'm also going to use in this glue book because I won't use a lot of these stickers anywhere else. So I think these are perfect because they're colors. Um, so like here, I ripped these ones out. They're ready to go. Um, but yeah, so these are some of them that I use. And then the other ones are, um, what do you call them? Uh, find the difference books where it's two images on one page and you got to try and figure out what the difference is between them. I think I have one. Yeah, here's one. This is not a Dollar Tree one I'm going to show you. Um, spot the difference. That's what it is. Um, but the Dollar Tree ones are big like this. And inside they'll have like images like this. So you'll get one on either side and you have to spot the difference. Um, and these are great for backgrounds as well. So I just wanted to show those so everybody knew what I was talking about because um, I had some questions. So those are the books. So I hope that helps you. If you have any more questions about those, don't feel free or do feel free to ask. Okay, so yesterday I went on a cutting binge. That didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Um, and I cut up all these things in this basket and there's tons of them for my glue book. And then I came across this and it says, just add color. And I feel like this has to go on the cover of my glue book. So I'm going to glue that now because hello, I mean, I don't like that there's brown behind there, but you know, whatever you do what you got to do. I absolutely love this. So I was going through my comments this morning. I haven't had a chance to go through all of them, um, but I responded to most of them. And it's awesome that it's like split 50-50. Either people have done the colored glue book before or they haven't, but they've always wanted to. And there was a few in there of never heard of this. I totally want to do it. So I'm super excited for you guys. I'm having a blast with this. It's just a really stress free, easy way to glue. Great for beginners. Great for people who feel like they don't know how to have a good collage composition, you know, like adding things down. Themes are great because there's no pressure that way to make like a cool spread or whatever. I hate that word. I hate it so much and I use it all the time. Okay, so I do want to make sure that I get my book into frame this time. The problem yesterday was I had all my images here and I have short little arms. So I had to bring my book down so I could reach. So anyways, okay. Um, let's start with the red. Um, I have so many images. I wonder if it would be better if I did just kind of plop them down, but I also don't want to. Well, here's some reds right off the bat. So let's grab those. Oh, and I have little teeny tiny things even. These were little Play-Dohs. I'm like, I'm adding those. <laughs> I'm adding it all. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this, this stuff in the basket. I think it's just going to be too hard. Oh, shh. I held it in. I didn't say the naughty word as my images went all over the floor. Okay. Now I have to clean all this up. Look at these little teeny tiny gnome color crayons that I cut out. That's going on my rainbow page. Okay, so here's some red. And I dropped one, so hang on. Okay, so let me put all these back. Boop. All right, get your stuff together, woman. All right, so let's start with some red things. I pulled out some right here. Um, let's move on to this page. Shermie's in here, so if you hear snoring, that would be my dog. I think I'm just gonna put that right there. That'll be cute. Oh man. He totally just hot boxed my craft room. It smells so bad in here right now. This dog's morning farts. Woo! Tell ya. Stink bomb. He's cute though, so it's okay. All right, here we go. Not that if he was ugly, it wouldn't be okay, but you know what I mean? <laughs> 
So this is like a little telephone birdhouse that I found. So I was thinking I would just add that right there. I don't know. I'm just adding stuff. Or should I add the lips? No. Let's save those for a different page. Oh, and I have this too. It's like a little book. Maybe I'll add it like this where it kind of overlaps. Ooh, I like that. This is why I say this is great for beginners because obviously like in this glue book, there are mistakes that I made a couple years ago that I wouldn't make now. Um, but it's, you know, when you're, I'm not gluing for an art exhibit. I'm gluing for fun, to relieve stress and anxiety, and because I like to create things. And this is an easy way to just have fun with art, not be, you know, trying to create a masterpiece all the time. Thought I did. Oh yeah. And while I was, sometimes I do warm up crafting. So I warm up before I get started in a video. So I added some backgrounds down here to fill up this page. Okay, so I think I'll add the lips like right here. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oops. There we go. Okay, so um, more housekeeping things to talk about. Let's see here. So I showed you the books. I wanted to remember to tell you that. Oh my gosh. And while I was sitting here <laughs> responding to comments, um, all of a sudden I got this like blur in my right eye it was like brown and blurry and I'm like um am I having a stroke like what what's this blurry thing in my eye and I thought maybe like an eyelash fell down or something and I couldn't tell what it was so I kind of backed my head up it was a spider you guys coming down from the ceiling on a web right in front of my eye. it was so close to my eyeball that it was blurry I couldn't even tell what it was not a good start to the day let me tell you it's not a happy camper. <laughs> I was so upset. Okay, so I need to fill a lot of these red pages. Maybe I'll just add this over here. Or, I don't know. I'm kind of not really feeling it. I don't know. Should I put it right here? Is there somewhere over here I could put it? I guess I could put it right there. Eh, might as well. So anyway, so that happened. And then I text Bob, he's so cute. He calls me, he's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> he knows I don't like spiders. Um, and I'm allergic to a lot of their bites. So anyways, yeah, no, it was cute though. I'm like, no, I'm fine. It's just not a great way to start the day. Oh my gosh, it scared the crap out of me. First of all, I thought I was having a stroke and then I found out it was a spider that was trying to invade my eyeball. Like you have 5,000 eyeballs, spider. Why do you need mine? Back up, rude. Okay. So let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, okay, so I have, oh yeah, I have a bunch of pink stuff. So maybe I should take out a bunch of that. I don't know why I found so much pink. There's some pink. This is so cute. So this is this kid on this rainbow scooter and he's wearing a rainbow sweatshirt. And then I have rainbow wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna add that to my rainbow page. I'm excited about that. Um, here's a bunch of orange. Here's like some background piece. I have a bunch of purple. I thought I had, oh wait, here's, do you know where your vegetables come from? Here's another red. Okay. I'm not going to use this kid right now. I'm just setting him aside. Um, here's some more orange. Here's orange and yellow, green. Maybe I should have color coordinated these as I took them out. Here's some purple. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I have this red guy. I cut this guy out too. He's in his little jams, his little jammies. I thought he was so cute. Um, I might have to wait to add more. Oh wait, no, I can put him over here. Oh man. I mean, does it really matter what those words say? I could probably just put him over like that, right? I like how his arms like sitting on like he's leaning against that so I think that's what I'll do so fun don't forget when you're going to Dollar Tree to look for little books and stuff to use there's always that teacher section um, a lot of times there's like children's workbooks and stuff that you can get over there that's not in the coloring book section Oh, these books, the Dollar Tree ones I just showed you, those are over by the coloring books. But the other section I'm talking about is where they have like teacher supplies for like um, poster boards and that kind of stuff. There's sometimes workbooks over there. I 
think I just kind of want to put that right there. I don't know why. Oh, wait, should I put it up here? I think I'll put it over here. Um, anyways, my point was don't forget to look at the wrapping paper because you can use that for backgrounds and that's a great inexpensive collage element um, to use for your backgrounds. And then I get this question all the time. So people who don't have a bunch of different colors of washi, what can you use on the edges to bind two pieces of paper together? I have two options. One of them is use colored paper make little like one inch strips, fold them in half, and then glue them on the edges. Or you can use construction paper. The Dollar Tree has construction paper, a whole pack of it. So that would be very inexpensive. Or you can get masking tape at the Dollar Tree and then color it in with Sharpie to all the different colors you need and kind of make your own washi tape that way. Um, I do have a lot of purple too. Oh, here's two more reds. Let's use that. Okay, so let's glue those down and then I might switch over to pink and purple because I have a lot of those too. What's this say? Not Getting Murdered. That's a great book. How Not to Get Murdered. Maybe I'll just do that. All right. Jackson did good on his presentation yesterday. He's got finals this week. Jackson is my youngest son. He's 15. I think maybe I'll put the food over here since I have food right there. No other reason. All right, there we go. And so last night I went through, um, after I was done with my video with you guys, I went through all, so remember how I always say I keep my um, magazines that I'm done harvesting because I go through them several times. So I have a pile and I always go through them. And when I'm all done, I use them like I'm using right here for like to glue on. Um, and then you can still recycle. I asked my dad well before he passed um, if it was okay to recycle paper with the glue on it. And he said yes. So if you didn't know, my dad was an environmental scientist and a damn good one in the very top of his field. So anyways, I thought he'd be the perfect one to ask that. And so, yeah. Um, again, if you're new here, my father passed away a few months ago and it's been really hard to say the least. So let's talk about something else. Um, I also have this Everlast glove that I found in a catalog. So I thought that would be fun. Could add that right here, but then that covers that he was leaning on there. And then I have <laughs> this cup that says, there's a chance this is whiskey. I thought that was hilarious. I do want to cut out the little middle section, so I'll wait to put that out. Um, where do I want to put this? Should I just kind of have it like that? I don't, I don't know. Down here? Ooh, I kind of like it right there. I don't know why. Isn't that weird how you're like moving an image around and then all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, I like it right there. But I didn't like it one inch over. Who knew? I wonder why that is. I don't know. I just like it when my brain's like, yes, put that there. I'm like, finally, thank you, brain. Okay, what else did I need to talk about? Oh, also I wanted to talk about this little situation. So many, many of you suggested the same thing that people suggested to me when this happened and that's when I messed up and put orange orange on this page instead of red. Yes, I could easily just add a piece of orange washi right here, but it's an OCD thing with me and I can't. It just really bothers me that this was supposed to be red because now there's six um there's an extra orange page and one less red page. So I know it doesn't make sense if it works for you and you mess up, totally do that. The one logical part of my brain says, duh, easy fix. The non-logical part of my brain is like, it's not going to fix the boo-boo. It's just putting a Band-Aid on it. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm weird. It is what it is. I do think that that's a smart suggestion, but it bothers me, so I can't do it. So I'm just going to pretend like it's not there and just move on. All right, so I have this basketball. Um, what else do I have? Oh yeah, I have this star. This was like cut out of, it was hanging off the edge. So I just cut that off and then I'll put it on an edge. So 
like standing on his head. That's weird. Do I want to put it here? I don't know. Why don't I like this anywhere? What else do I have that's... Oh, maybe I should put it down here where I'm actually covering something. Oh, yeah. And while I was warming up, I added this. Um, and I added a little washi just for funsies. Maybe I'll put this over here because that'll cover some of the writing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it over here. Let's do that. Oh, I can't because then the edge is... You know what? I'm just going to put it like that. Hold on. I also have this. I think I'm going to add this here first. Do I need to cover up the writing? No. But I want to, so I'm going to. It's all personal choice. No worries. No stress. Plus, I want to glue more things. It's all about me gluing the things. Um, definitely, if you have washi tape, use that. Like, I put some here to cover some words. Um, I use it throughout my glue book. And then also stickers, which I'm excited to use some stickers because I love, I love stickers. Oh, I also cut the, is this yellow? This is yellow. So, like, when I had, I was fussy cutting and there was, like, little bits of just plain color, I just kind of squiggly cut them out because then I can just kind of put them over something, you know, like that. Okay, so, oh wait, here's an orange piece. Oh yeah, I could totally just cover that. Or should I cover this? I think I'll just cover this because I don't really mind this being here. Um, how do I wanna do this? Let's, where'd my ruler go? Here's a little ruler. All right. And then I'll save that piece for another. So definitely look through magazines for just solid color pieces as well. You can cut them out into rectangles like I did here, or you can um, cut them up into like little squiggly things. Um, I also did, let me show you this one I cut. There was like a, a bunch of purple left on this page. Where is it at? Here it is. So I cut like little drips, and so I'm gonna add those to my purple page. So that'll be fun. Okay, so now maybe I'll add my star. Like that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, that's the fun part about this is you just keep adding. Just keep adding, having fun. Put on a movie. Oh my gosh, if it was raining right now, it would make my day. I would love that. That would be so fun. Oops, that's not what I wanted at all. I don't like that. No. Oh well. We'll just leave it. Okay, perfect. Good enough for me. Now I have this. So maybe I'll just put that down here. I don't know. Why not? Just glue. Can you hear Sherman? <laughs> He's such a loud snore. I love my baby. You should see him. His face is so squished right now. Okay. So moving on. Let me move my ruler. Okay. All right, so I don't want to do any full pages on camera today. So yellow, do I have some yellow things? Eh. You know what, maybe I should start putting the purples out. because so I've got a ton of purple things. Purples, purples, so many purples. Which is funny because I just got done talking about how it's not my favorite color and then I found like so much purple and pink yesterday. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, here's orange. I should go back with that. Um, I'm going to put this back in here. Oh, I got a hat. Where's my yellow? Yellow. Oh, grab the bees or God save the bees. More purple. Told you I had lots of purple. I don't know what was going on. All right. And then I have, oh, here's a yellow and here's a yellow. Oh no, that's green. Yellow. 
another purple. Oh my gosh, I could complete a whole page. Some more squigglies. Oh yeah, I just cut these. Let's put these in there. Just cut those right before we started. Okay, that's good for now. I got, I have more in here, but I don't have to do them all. Okay, so let's go back to the yellow really quick since I'm here. So I cut this dash. And I think I'll put that right there. Salt-free spices, anyone? Should I put it there or over here? No, I'll put it over here. All right. Oh my gosh, my dog is cute. Ugh, he's so cute. Eh. Okay, so I had, wait, I had more things I had to tell you. Let me see, what else? Um, spider. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, kind of a trigger warning if you don't like. Uh, mm, okay, I don't know. I'm just going to be kind of talking about a little bit of a sensitive subject, I guess. So... I'm going to be really vague because I don't want to describe where I live. Um, so please be understanding about that because, you know, we don't need stalkers in our lives. Been there, done that. Don't recommend. I mean, I haven't been a stalker. I have been stalked. Anyways, okay, <laughs> moving on. So yesterday while I'm editing the video, this truck pulls up kind of across the street from my house, but down a little ways. And there's this area over there where, now, mind you, I live in a really, you know, I live in a nice res residential neighborhood. Um, crime has gone up drastically since COVID, like drastically in Oregon, um, probably everywhere. Um, but Portland, we have a crisis on our hands. So where I live, there has been a lot of increase in homeless and um actually like drug addicts and stuff like I've never seen them in my neighborhood before up until the last two years so it's and we've seen a lot of them so it's crazy so anyways my husband noticed the other day that there was a couple tents down there and there was obviously some homeless people living back over there and so while I'm editing the video yesterday, sorry, I can talk and glue at the same time. I don't know why I'm, so, I'm just so excited. To, well, okay, I shouldn't say I'm excited to tell you this. If you know me well, you know that I love true crime. So this is why I'm going to tell you. So I'm editing the video and this truck pulls up and it says rapid response bio cleanup. And I'm like, oh, hell no. What happened? Right. And so I called Bob. I'm like, oh my gosh, guess what's outside? Blah, 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 blah. So they were there for hours cleaning up. So apparently there was like needles and drugs and that kind of stuff too. So um, that was part of what they were cleaning up. But now I'm like, did the man pass away from either drug overdose because there was needles and drugs all over around the tent? Or did he get arrested? So they had to clean it up and it was bio cleanup. But I'm, I'm like bio cleanup, you know, that makes me think like something happened to the guy. So anyways, I was sitting here editing, watching them uh, carry all their his stuff out. And like, it was insane. So I don't know if he passed away or like what happened there. But it was very unsettling seeing the bio cleanup truck come to my neighborhood and be across the street from my house. It was crazy. Cause like I said, I just live in a residential area and nothing, nothing crazy, you know, good neighborhood. So it was weird. Okay. So let's see here. I want to go to purple. I have lots of greens I need to add still. Um, I thought I had, did I, didn't I have another dash thing? Oh, I have this teal car. Is this teal or blue? I can't tell. Sometimes this stuff looks, oh yeah, here it is. Dash right there. Okay, let's get out some of this blue stuff now. Blue, here's a green. I need to color coordinate these, but I was just so excited. Oh, more purple. Holy moly, so much purple. Uh, I was so excited cutting all this stuff out. What happened to all my, didn't I just have a bunch of, oh, blue's right here. Okay, more blue, tons of green stuff. Oh wait, here's blue. Ooh, look at what books I found in there. Cool, huh? Our favorite little sticker books. Here's another blue. 
What's this? Okay, okay. More purple. Oh my gosh, another purple. Oh, teal. There's that. Hey, friends. What's this? More green. I have so much green. Oh, here's another teal. I knew I cut out a bunch of teal stuff. Oh, here's a lemon meringue pie. Oh, back to orange stuff. Okay. I think I need to put my stuff in like color coordinated things. Okay, so I have this shoe. Maybe I could just put it right here. Let's do that. Okay, so anyways, yeah, that was pretty crazy to see that. They just kind of cleaned up the tent and the whole, but they were over there for hours. I didn't see like a coroner or anything like that, but it could have happened. Mind you, this was in the morning, so who knows what happened in the middle of the night over there, you know? So scary stuff. Hopefully the man just went to jail and they were just cleaning up his stuff. But like, holy crap, I didn't even know like there was all that going on over there. Um, okay, purple goes over here. What's this? This goes in my blue. Here's a teal. This was like a blanket. It was stacked on a bunch of other blankets. So I just, where do I want to put this? I don't really like it over here. So I'm not going to put it there. Maybe I'll just put it right here. No, over here. I'll just put it right there. It's funny how it literally can go anywhere. It doesn't really matter, but I get so particular because I'm so used to trying to make it a certain way. I mean, I still want this to look good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not putting a lot of pressure on myself to make it look perfect, if that makes sense. Okay, so these are all blue. This could kind of go over. This is a teal and a blue, so I think I'll just put that on my blue page. Blue, blue. I am going to put this car on this page. I think I'll just put it right here. I'm not going to be too worried anymore if I put a blue on the teal page or a teal on the blue page or whatever. You know, it's all blue. It's okay. I'm learning to just let go and have fun and not be so worried with everything. Like this is, this is for fun. Okay. So that's blue, blue. Oh, here it is. The dash. I wanted this. Kind of wanted to cover up some of that. Oh, maybe I'll just put it on the edge right here. It's the garlic herb is sitting on the blanket. <laughs> you know, my husband and I have been together for 20 years. Well, longer than that. Anyways. And last night <laughs> I walked up to him and he's like, what? And he gives me a hug and I go, I don't want to make dinner. And he's like, okay, well, I will. This man knows exactly what to do to get me to do something because he starts cooking. I'm like, no, 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 here I come. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I start cooking and he's like, well, is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> and I'm like, God, you, you knew what you were doing. You knew I'd get up and cook because I cook dinner every night. Um, always have. I felt like this was teal at the time. It kind of just looks baby blue, but I, I think I might just put it here anyways. I wish I had something. Oh, I know what I can put there. Uh, oh my gosh, please don't knock over. I have my Dollar Tree wrapping paper. I'll use that. Just put a little bit on here. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I like that better. It's weird. In this glue book, I really like the torn edges. I don't know. Sometimes straight edges just, which is funny because in my random glue book, I loved straight edges, but in this, I don't know. Some of them I don't. Okay. So I'll leave this for later if I need a little bit more. There went all my wrapping paper. That's awesome. I'm gonna scare the crap out of my dog. Okay, so what was I gonna put there? Did I have something I was, oh, this. Let's put that there. 
and then I'll put something here and then that, that will all look better once I do that. This is why I say I'm just, I'm not worried about it. This is why I skip around and just keep adding. Okay. Oh, I could add more of this right now, but I don't really want to. Okay. So see this, look how bad this is. Who cares though? I glued this years ago. I didn't really know how to glue a full page on at the time. And does it matter? No, who cares? All right, now I have blue. Let's just say again, 100% grown on American soil. That's right. I think I'll just put that right there. Why not? Okay, so I've talked to you about the, the Dollar Tree books. Talk to you about the washi substitutions on the side. I told you about the rapid response cleanup crew. That was nuts. What else? Um, I talked to you about the red or putting orange on my tape. Okay, so here's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. So <clears throat> many of you, I'm sure, have heard about the 100-day project. Some of you may not. So the 100-day project starts... Um, Oh, I like that. Starts in the springtime, usually every, every single year. And what it is, is you do a project for a hundred days in a row. And it could be anything that you want to, um, anything that you want to maybe practice or anything that you want to do for a hundred days. Now you usually limit it to one thing just so it's easier. Um, like, um, you know, drawing, doodling, painting, art journaling, glue booking, you know, crocheting. You just usually pick one thing. Um, and you can even get like, if you want to, if you are, um, a painter and you want to perfect using oil paints, then you do oil painting for a hundred days. Or if you want to learn how to draw an apple, you practice drawing an apple for a hundred days. Anyway, so some people are doing the hundred day project and wanted to know if I was going to be doing that as well. Um, I don't know. And the reason why I don't know is I'm just kind of at a weird place in my life. You know, with the death of my father, uh, it's been really hard on me and my family and I haven't handled it very well. Uh, I'll be totally transparent. It's been very hard. Um, and in April, it'll be one year that he passed. And I know that the 100 day project will fall close to that. And I just, or, you know, on that day, or it will, I'll have to make, I don't know. I just, part of me wonders if I should do it because it'll help me heal. I could do a page, you know, about my dad that day or, you know, whatever. So I'm just not sure if I want to do it or not. If I, if I can do it, you know, because of everything that's going on and, uh, or maybe I should, it might be good for me. So I'm not, oops, this goes this way. So I'm not exactly sure yet. I think it would be fun. Now, here's the thing. I also have a chronic illness, so I am constantly fatigued and I get, you know, not just my body, but my brain gets fatigued. And sometimes I just, I can't, I can't function and I just need to rest. So I don't want to pick a project that's like too hard. You know what I mean? Um, I want something that's easy. So I might do glue booking for a hundred days, but then do, um, do it like in a smaller book. But then I was thinking like composition books are a hundred pages. So if I just glued on one side of, you know, like just this top page and not the back pages, it would be a hundred days. So I was kind of thinking about doing that too, but maybe with a smaller, one of my smaller composition notebooks. So that might be kind of cool. I love this because it reminds me of my dad. He was a, he loved to scuba dive and then Andrew loved sharks. Him and my dad were really close. Um, so I love that. Okay. So I have this, it's really pretty. It's like stained glass. I think I'll put that over here. So I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. Um, you know, death happens. It's part of life. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm ready for a committed project, but at the same time, it might be good for me. But I also know that I don't commit to things very well. And if, you know, like I will probably make another color glue book before I finish this. And 
One of my glue crew members pegged me on that. She's like, yeah, you're totally going to make another glue book before you finish this. And I probably will because I do that all the time. It's just part of who I am. Um, I think I'll put this right here just to cover up that little spot that got... I pulled this page off of this and it had stuck before a couple years ago. Um, the glue had stuck, so it ripped that little bit of magazine off her leg. So I think I'll just add this right here. It's a little sheep and it says, mom, and there's a cloud up there. Get it? Cause it looks like a fluffy cloud. I thought that was cute. Okay. So what other colors? So I have my purple. I guess I should just move on to that. Cause I have so freaking much of it. And I did use stickers in this before. Cause look, here's a bunch of stickers. Um, yeah. Wait, why is this? Oh yeah. I did that teal before I, yeah. Okay. I, I remember now. Okay. Purple. Is there anything I want to add? Oh, I have this. It's a coffee cup and it says, you are an amazing woman. And I thought that was cool. So maybe I'll just put that right there. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay. Back to having fun. So yeah, if you bought those reporter glue book or glue books, I just call them glue books now. That's not what they are technically the reporter composition notebooks. You could use that for the 100 day project. Um, you could use the ones that are oblong, you know, the horizontal ones. They're the same size as the reporter. Um, you could use those. So I might do that. I might use one of the reporter ones um, and, and do the, oh, maybe I'll just put the hello friend down here. I don't know, I kind of wanted it up here. Oh, I'll put it right there. Man, this is fun. Once I'm done with this video, in fact, I don't even know how long it's been, so I probably need to check. I'm gonna continue to glue. <laughs> so fun. Okay, uh, let's just kind of keep going because I got lots of purple. I have these two purple ladies hugging. Could put this over her dress. What else do I have? Oh, I have this cute little purple elephant. It's like a little came out of a toy catalog. Let's just put the little elephant right here. Or should it be sitting up here? Where do I want it? Does it matter? No, but why am I being so weird about it? Maybe I'll just put it right here. Because I want my little elephant to stand out. So here's the other thing about themed glue books, why I've been hesitant to start my dog glue book. Because, like, here's an elephant. I have an elephant glue book because I love elephants. But then every time I see an elephant, I feel like I have to keep it with my elephant glue book stuff. But I, I just like elephants, so I want them in my regular glue booking as well. So, I don't know. I think I am just going to put these people here. They fit so well. Okay. And they're both wearing purple sweaters. Uh my finger. Okay. Nope. Move over. I want you way over. More, more, more. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Oops. Okay. Yep. I licked my glue book. Yes, I did. Get Oh, where's that purple thing? I want to put the squigglies, the drips. I want to see if they look good up here. <gasps> yes. Do I like it? Wait, I don't know. Do I like it? Do I not like it? I kind of like it. Or should I put them on this side? Because it's just the back of her head anyways. Like, I don't really care about that. I don't like it there as much. What other purple do I have? <gasps> Ooh, might look really cool on this one. Huh. I could just put it over this one because who cares what the words say there? Hmm. I don't know. What do I want to do? I have these potatoes. Oh, I could put it over the... No. I could have it go this way. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what I want to do there. <laughs> yes. I'm weird. I know. Okay. So then I have this little girl. So maybe I can just 
<laughs> my dog. So funny. I don't really want to cover up more purple that, let's see here. Oh wait, I have this lady in a purple dress too. She'd probably look good on this page. I'll hold on to her. Her arms drive me nuts. Here we have this one too. Maybe I'll just put her right there. All right. Let's glue it. And then I'm going to end the video, I think. All right. Let's get her little legs down there. I really want her moved over. There we go. Perfect. Love that. Do I need to cut off anything on the bottom? No, I do not. I kind of want to add a purple washi tape down here. Let me find one real quick here. I actually think I might fold this over to the other side. So, let's see here. There we go. Yeah, I think I will. I'll just fold this over. Oops. There we go. Okay. Why did I do that? Um, I did that because I love how I'm act acting like you guys asked me the question. <laughs> I don't know. There was a little bit of white at the bottom, and I just kind of wanted to add a little something-something. So now I have a little purple down here at the bottom of this one. All right, you know, I think my favorite, I didn't get to my pink yet. I hate these pages. Oh, I covered some washi right here. I covered some words right there. So yeah, definitely use, I love this pink page. I had this girl and I thought she would be cute on here as well. Cause she's wearing this like fluffy girly outfit. And then here's like some pink cake and a sweater. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope I inspired you in some way. I had a lot of fun gluing. This is a lot of fun. I highly suggest you do this, especially if you've never glued book before. This is a great way to start and a great way to um, just kind of be creative in your own way and make it your own and grab a cup of coffee or tea, put a movie on and just glue. It's so amazing. I promise. All right, guys, until next time, bye.